What up guys and welcome back to Run For Adventure. It's review time and we are super excited about this one. We are reviewing the Hocker One One Evo Jaws, a new lightweight responsive trail shoe. And this is some shoe. As you can see from the condition of the shoe, I've done a fair few miles in this shoe, almost 200. You know, it's been a great shoe for me, but I thought it was about time we put a review on this product. So let's talk about spec when it comes to the Evo Jaws. Um, it's a super lightweight shoe, really responsive. So the men's version weighs in at 204 grams and the women's comes in at a light 182 grams. It's running off a three mil offset and we've got 21 mil on the heel and 18 mil on the forefoot. So like I said, a, a nice light responsive trail shoe. The Hocker Evo Jaws um, is running with this new ripstop woven upper from Hocker. The theory behind this upper is a much more durable upper, so some longevity, and the shoe at the midfoot is supposed to give you a much more specific hold round that midfoot to keep you secure on them uneven technical trails. The shoe also runs on Hocker's Profly midsole, which I'm a great lover of. You know, I think it's a real good balance between a responsive shoe and a cushioned shoe. So you get a slightly softer heel counter, slightly firmer midfoot and forefoot. So to give you a bit more responsiveness when we're running fast, but also to give you that protection on the heel, say when we're running downhill, loading through that heel a bit heavier. So a really good balance between performance and protection. The Jaws runs on a six mil lug using this multi-directional lug pattern and then the actual sole itself is covered in this super tacky Vibram Mega Grip rubber. So that's the spec of the shoe guys. So let's get on with the review and give this shoe some scoring. So first thing to review is always the price on Run For Adventure. So let's talk about the price when it comes to the Evo Jaws. Um, RRP is 110, which personally, I think in the current shoe market is a really good price for a trail running shoe, especially a shoe that is proving to be pretty durable, pretty hard wearing, and pretty comfortable on most terrains. So, you know, I think 110 pounds for this shoe is, is a really, really good price and a bit of a bargain. Number two on the review is comfort and performance. What have I got to say about this shoe when it comes to comfort and performance? First things, comfort, way more comfortable than you think it's gonna be. It looks pretty aggressive, it looks pretty stripped back, but Hocker have created this shoe that's really responsive and all you want to do is run quick in it, but it's super cushioned considering the thickness of the outsole. I don't know how they've achieved it, but when it comes to comfort, this is a really comfortable strip back trail shoe. Performance, I I've loved it. I've loved running in it. I've loved every step I've taken in it. I love this shoe. I've run it on roads. I've run it on sand dunes. I've run it in mud. It is a super, super good trail running shoe. When you put it on, all you wanna do is go running. You wanna go and run technical terrain. You wanna go and run quickly over technical terrain. You feel safe, you feel secure. It's lightweight, it's comfortable like we said, it fits the foot nice. I've done a lot of miles in it. I've probably put anywhere between 150, 180 miles in this shoe before the review. And like I said, on lots of different terrain. So giving it a real thorough testing and this shoe has performed really, really well. The one downside I will say is the first few runs I did in it, especially because it was wet ground, it was wet grass that I was actually running through, I got really blue feet, so the color does run in the shoe a little bit. You can actually see it on the upper where it's slightly faded. I've had that in shoes before, but it was funny in this shoe because even after a couple of showers, I still had blue feet. So. That's the only really downside to performance is the fact that I ended up with blue feet. And to be honest, I didn't care because it ran so good. Number three on Run For Adventure Review is durability. You know, a really, really important part of a running shoe. Like I've said before in previous reviews, a lot of shoes, the durability is coming to question. Not in this case. The Evo Jaws is holding up brilliantly. Like I said in the performance, you know, I put I'd say closer to 180 miles in the shoe in lots of different terrain, lots of different weather conditions, quite a, quite a lot of tarmac to be honest as well. And this shoe, there's no sign of wear, there's no sign of fatigue at the flex points, 
Okay, it looks a bit beaten up because it's been through the sand dunes, through the mud, through the water, but um, it's holding up brilliant. No fatigue on the upper. Outsole, even though it's luggy, and like I said, I probably do a couple of miles of road with most of my trail runs just to get to the trail. And even with that six mil lug, because it's got that Vibram mega rubber grip on it, it's holding up brilliantly. There's hardly any wear on it at all. So durability is shining through with the Hocker Evo jaws. And like we say on Run For Adventure, last but not least, it's not the most important thing on the review and it's not the most important thing about a shoe, but we're gonna talk looks. I personally think the blue and yellow colorway of Hocker and Hocker shoes is a really cool combination. The shoe only comes in one colorway. So it's this colorway for men, it's this colorway for women. But I like the blue and yellow theme. I think it works well on a hocker shoe because of their branding and because of the colorways they're known for. It looks pretty smart, pretty cool. It looks pretty fast. So I'm super happy uh, with the colorways of this shoe. So pretty much all positive when it comes to the Evo Jaws. There is a few negatives, really, really minor negatives to be fair. Nothing that would put me off buying it, running it, trying it. We said about the color run. Okay, I got blue feet a couple of times. It's no big deal, but some people might be put off by that. Also, this rip, um, rip stop upper, really durable, but I would say maybe not as breathable as some other shoes that I've run in. So not that my feet got stifling hot and sweaty, but I think it is a little bit less breathable. The good side is it doesn't let a lot through it. So I've run on the dunes in the soft sand and you don't get any sand in your shoes, which has never happened in a pair of trail shoes with me. It's a little bit hotter than some uppers. The other thing is I'm quite narrow in foot shape and it fits my foot shape really well. I feel really secure. I would say if you're overly wide or you've got a wide midfoot or you, know, you need a lot of width or you like a lot of width and space in the toe box, then again, maybe it's not the shoe for you. It does work best, I think, with a, a narrow to mid foot width. So let's get on to scoring this bad boy. So first things we're going to score it on is price. Like we said, you know, it's a cracking price for this shoe. A lightweight, responsive, comfortable, multi-terrain trail shoe that's holding up really well, super durable at £110 in today's marketplace. That is a good price for this shoe. So this shoe is going to score high on price and we're going to give it a strong eight out of 10 on the run for adventure, thumbs up scale. On to comfort and performance. I raved about the shoe, I loved running in the shoe. So again, this shoe is gonna score super high when it comes to comfort and performance. I love this Vibram rubber. I, I've had lots of hocker shoes with that Vibram Mega Grip rubber on. I think it's an awesome rubber. Keeps you secure, keeps you so, safe. You feel super safe on lots of train. I love it so much. I got it put on a pair of Hocker Torrents while we were away at UTMB, which has turned this into a killer shoe and I can't wait to run it. Haven't done it yet, but can't wait. So um, this Fibre Mega Grip is an awesome, awesome grip on a, on a trail running shoe. It's just so grippy. How is it so grippy? So again, you're gonna score highly. This is gonna come in for comfort and performance on the Run For Adventure scale with nine thumbs up out of 10. So next, we're coming up to durability. So like we said, it's holding up really well. Uh, no signs of fatigue. We love to see that in a running shoe. So this is coming in strong again. You know, this shoe is scoring brilliantly uh, at Run For Adventure. So we're gonna give it another strong nine thumbs up out of 10 on the Run For Adventure scale. So to cap off the scoring, we're down to looks. You know, we think it's a good looking shoe. We like blue and yellow. We like the theme of the shoe. We like the fact that it links in to Hocker's colors and their branding. We like that connection. So again, we can't fault this shoe. So another strong score. We're gonna give it an eight thumbs out of 10. To get a conclusion on this shoe, it's been brilliant to run in. I've loved it. I've loved all my running. It's reasonably priced. It's comfortable. It's light. It's everything I want in a trail shoe. I would personally say, I wouldn't probably run it over marathon distance. You know, I think if I was going long, long, I'd want a bit more substance in my shoes, but you know, for 10K, half marathon, marathon distance on the trail, this shoe will do it all, you know, super comfy, super grippy, super responsive. We love this shoe at Run For Adventure. So when you tally all them scores up, we are giving it a massively strong 34 out of 40 on the Run For Adventure scale. Check this shoe out, guys. If you like a light, responsive, comfortable trail shoe, 
this is definitely, definitely one to try out and give a go. Get involved, guys. We'd like to hear what you think. You know, have you been running in the Evo Jaws? How have you felt about it? Do you feel it's a great trail shoe like we do? You know, we want to get your feedback on the shoe too. So please comment below on your feelings. Any questions you have about the shoe that you want to ask, please feel free. There's going to be a link uh, in the description about the shoe if you want to find out a bit more information, please feel free and take a look. So that's another review wrapped up, guys. You know, we really love this shoe, as you can see with the points. So thanks for watching, guys. You know, I can't emphasize that enough. Thanks for watching. If you've liked this review, please hit the like button. Again, if you haven't subscribed and you want to follow what we're doing, we've got lots of cool content coming up, lots of cool reviews and some other stuff along the way, please hit that subscribe button. We're back from UTMB, obviously. We've uploaded the two films from our UTMB experience. If you haven't watched them, go and check them out. You know, we've got some great footage in there. We had a great time, um, a great finish, obviously, at UTMB. We're home, we're missing it a little bit. We've got UTMB blues, but if you haven't watched it, please get along and watch it. So thanks guys, thanks for watching, stay safe and keep on running.